All right, welcome back to another lesson on car talk. So last video, we went over the anatomy of the heart and now we're gonna go over the electrical signals on how our heart actually contracts. So here, I got my potato, also known as my heart, drawn. And so this is going to allow us just to focus on what we need to, I'm gonna shift that a little bit, uh, on how the electric signals are read and how they're sent. So we have our AV note, excuse me, our SA node. And our SA node is represented by this little dot here. It's gonna send a signal. And then we have intercalated disc, which is the main difference in between our cardiac muscle and our regular muscle, which allows the signal to be sent throughout the heart without having to go through each neuron like we do with our muscles. So that signal is gonna be sent through our intercalated disc. And then in between our atria and our ventricles, we have dead cells that are gonna stop that signal. And that signal is going to then be recepted by the AV node. That signal that once it's recepted is going to go through the bundle of his, then the bundle branches, through the Purkinje fibers, and then it's going to depolarize the ventricles to then allow them to contract and then either get blood to the lungs or blood throughout the rest of the body. So here we have our EKG and we're gonna learn a little bit of a combobulated alphabet. We have our P wave, our QRS, and our T wave. So our P wave from this resting point to this point right here is showing where our SA node is sending the depolarization signal. And then that signal actually being sent then stopped. So we have a little break right here where the blood's gonna catch up with the signal that was sent and the contraction that occurs. Then the QRS is representing, I like to say a notional repolarization of the atria, but it is the actual AV node sending its signal and then the signal being sent throughout the ventricles for the ventricles to contract and then it stops. And then the same thing, there's a break right here where the blood's catching up with the signals that are actually being sent. And then here is where the signal for the ventricles to be repolarized and that's what the T wave is and then for it to stop and then we rinse and repeat and it happens all over again and this is the rhythmic pattern that your heart has if it beats normally so till next time on car talks